Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, MacReady. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I know I'll that take voice. orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, MacReady. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Excuse me. Get out of my face. I've shot people for less. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else <laughs> on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. It's how it goes when you run with the gunners. Never heard of the gunners. Who are they? One of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but it never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Are you always this suspicious? Hey, you approached me. And frankly, I'm taking a huge risk being out here in the Commonwealth in the first place. So I'm not about to leave anything in chance. Which brings me back to my original question. Can I trust you? Hold on. What kind of risk are you talking about? I already told you way too much. I need to learn to keep my big mouth shut. Look, I'm tired of playing 20 questions. So I'll cut you a deal right now. 250 caps. Up front. And there's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. I need to ask you something. Have you found someone that can help me become human? I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get on the way. Wait, is Hangman's... No, that's not... Just go to Sanctuary Hill. Please don't tell me that he's going to cost another... Hold on. I'm gonna talk to him real quick. What? Uh... <clears throat> there you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. You ready to head out? I'm not making any caps waiting here. Do you have any new injuries for me to treat today, Monsieur McCready? Feeling fine, thanks. But uh, if a couple of stim packs fall my way, I wouldn't object. Look alive. Yeah, what is it? Hell of a load you're okay. carrying. Let's rest a Better second. Some Have you found before someone that can me become it. human? I don't know whether I should go with Curie or bring... You know what? I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get on the way. Well, I'm here for Curie, so we're gonna send McCready to Sanctuary. An open road and a loaded weapon. Doesn't get much better than so this. So, McCready's gonna go there, and I'm gonna continue on my search for someone to make Curie human. And then I'll bring him back around here once I'm done with that. Yeah. Uh, Let's get this show on the road. I wonder if the daytime collecting will serve any purpose.
Okay, so he'll come with me for a one-time uh, payment of 200 caps. So basically, by accepting the job from him, I've got a free companion. Technically. Well, I liked this bar. Also, I'm going to continue wearing this outfit in here, unless I get under attack. If I get under attack, I'm switching back. Hey, everyone. Gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now, I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy. Glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Ah, he wishes. <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now. What out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their synths. That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the Super Mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Yeah, hey, me too. We all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not no. me! At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good, good neighbor. neighbor! And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of the people! For the people! The people. Huh, nice speech. Alright, Cheery. Ah, oh, sweet, the memory den. Oh, I kind of want to go in there right now. But I also want to find Curie's, uh... Ah... Uh... Another warehouse. I have to assume that because the warehouses are all red, that maybe I shouldn't have taken that job. Yeah, we'll check out the memory dead. I was always curious about this in the trailer. The memory den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Irma. Oh, you enjoying yourself, a good neighbor? Tell it's me, a where heck did you of go a to town, university? ain't it? University? You're not serious, right? I have a lot of very precise work to do. What do you want? Amari. I'm a bit busy. What is it? Do I get. Okay, nothing's happening. No one's telling me to do telling me anything and You like the decor? My business partner hates it. Says she's not the fun type. Can I... Before you ask, 
I wasn't responsible for the decor, so I don't want to hear it. Okay, nobody wants to tell me anything. But you'd think they set this whole place up that something would happen when you go in it. To find a damn doctor for Kiri. There's a doctor there, but I don't know. Maybe that's the doctor? And like Sarah's saying, I have to do the mission with Valentine? I can't uh, believe it. He looked just like Sammy, too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell his mother? Got a reason to be bothering me? I just had to shoot up a synth body snatcher over here. He was a synth? Yeah. Unbelievable, huh? Sammy was fine a few days ago, and then BAM! He's acting funny, gives up cigarettes, the booze, stops cheating on his wife. I mean, the man wasn't a saint, but he was who he was, you know. The Institute ain't got no right to replace him with a synth double. Look, we gotta clean up here. You keep close to you and yours, all right? Damn. Yes? Drifter. You're, You're blocking, blocking my, my light, light, man. Drifter, drifter. <laughs> Hello, drifters. to see here. Get lost. You know what? Any sec now. Thank you. I don't like Trigger Man. I also don't like people killing people for no reason. So apparently I might have to do a mission for him. The, uh, the mission with Valentine. To get the, uh... To get the robo... Surgeon. So I'll have to send Curie home anyway. In case you're wondering, the Diamond City radio signal comes in loud and clear here in Good Neighbor. And that Travis? Man, he got good. Yeah, he did. Alright, I gotta stop wearing my cool outfit. Back to being a Vault 101 hero. Oh well. Alright, Kiri will dislike if I go into any of these rooms. So... Yeah. Alright, I guess we're going to Valentine. I really love that area. Gotta be my favorite area. 
Love anything to do with mobsters. Just love it. last year. You make that robot yourself? You must be wicked smart. Yeah, being half Italian, it's half my heritage, too. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Sorry. Go, go, uh, go ahead. Oh, God. <laughs> it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. In a second. I'm going to make myself really comfortable in a second. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Now I'm comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they, they just. It's OK. You don't need to say anything more. So we're talking about a group of cold hearted killers, but they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. No, he's not anymore. Why would anyone take him? Good question. That's what I'm Why guessing. your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. Who are the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Wait. Super mutants? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. 
Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left Never eye. Never forget that face. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, Oh did my you? god, Kellogg's house is upstairs. But who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? Yeah, that's what I saw. And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Have you found some? No, I haven't found anyone to make you human. I I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just I'm a little on edge here. No, man, put it together. You went back to sleep. Odds are, ten years later, you woke up. Someone that can help me become human? Hey, Valentine. I was gonna go sarcasm, because I think he'd say something about Kellogg's cereal. But anyway. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. I saw Kellogg's house earlier, like when I first came here, and I was like, I want to kind of unlock his door because... It wasn't, you know, red. I don't think I have enough bobby pins, guys. And girls, I don't think I... Oh, there we go. Yes. There you know. Door's not even locked. Yeah, because I did it. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you? I figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Uh, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? I'm telling you, something's not right. 
Look for anything out of sorts. A switch. A button. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Curie, please. Stop dragging those cans around. Look alive. Hold okay. position. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I'm starting to get eyelashes in my eye again. What is with this game and mannequins? Mannequins. The silent routine isn't getting us anywhere. I'm sorry, do you want me to talk to you? Because I'm looting. Th stealing everything that asshole owns. What's with the hard look? Say something. Uh-oh. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out... Uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. We can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. I want you with me on this, Nick. Uh all right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Hey, you mind keeping an eye out for a sec? I gotta run a diagnostic. Whew. Thanks. What'd I miss? What if I get dog meat? Isn't that gonna make him vanish too? It'd be kind of weird that I can send him to Sanctuary Hills when he's a detective working here. Dog me, where the f Where the frip did you come from? You're one magical dog, and now you're suddenly called dog meat. You weren't before. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. I'm trusting my family's future to a dog. That's it. I'm officially crazy. <laughs> Yeah, 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 get away from me, you stupid robot. I'm gonna talk over your stupid shit. Go on, doggy, go, 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 boy. Go, go, boy, go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 copyright music. Hold on. Aid. Yeah. Let's find our find our boy. 